Welcome to the I Get Better podcast with your hosts, Charlene Renee and Phaedra Smith, where we discuss topics related to life, love, mental, physical, and spiritual health, and how we can all get better together. Welcome back to the I Get Better podcast. I'm your host, Charlene Renee. And I'm Phaedra Smith. And today we're going to be talking about how I get better when I get healthy. So today we have a very special guest joining us today, my fam. Mr. Isaiah Bowman, an expert, I would say, on health and nutrition. So I want him to tell you a little bit about himself before we get started. So go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Um, I I am Isaiah Bowman, Dr. Sebi's grandson. Um, We actually save lives every day, saving the community. And it is CMOS Saturday. Shout shout out to my CMOS gang. And um, right now the goal is to change the culture and change the narrative and keep Nipsey Hussle's marathon alive, you know, by motivating and inspiring our people to be great. And that's what we're all about, right? We're all about getting better. We're all about motivating, inspiring. So it's really a special occasion because, as you know, we typically don't come to you via video. So we had the time and the opportunity to do this. And at this time, with all that's going on right now with this national or worldwide health crisis, this is the perfect time for us to talk about getting healthy how to get better at starting your journey to better health. So what better time and what better place for us to do this? So as you know, we always start off our episodes with defining the thing that we're going to be talking about. So the the Webster's Dictionary version of the word healthy is simply to be in good health. (laughs) To be in good health, it means that um, none of your body is diseased. So it's lack of disease. So that's the dictionary's version of health. I want us to kind of both um, have the opportunity to give our personal definitions of health. And then we'll have Isaiah also give what his definition of health is before we get into the ways to get better at getting healthy. So Phaedra, what's your definition of healthy? This is putting me on the spot. I'm you know we do notes. this. Come on. We don't, um, we don't need no notes. Um, my definition of healthy, I always think about the whole body. So like your mind, your your spirit, and just your physical body. So not only like um, eating the right things, doing the right things physically, um, like your heart healthy, but also just you know, I always go to your, your mental health because, of course, we're therapists. Right. Um, but also just your mental health because your mental health affects your physical health. So, and a lot of people don't realize that they have ailments they go to the doctor for, doctor can't figure out what's going on. And a lot of times it's, it's your mind. So making sure you also um, take care of that, that mental health is, is, is super important. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. So my personal definition of health would definitely actually be similar to yours. I feel like sometimes a person can look healthy physically and they're really sick internally. So there's a lot of things and Isaiah will probably get more in depth about that, about what actual health and nutrition looks like apart from your physical look. So you may have someone who's in shape, looks really fit, and they can actually be really, really ill. Um, And you may have someone who you think is maybe overweight, and they can actually be in better health. So uh, definitely making sure that you get your mental health, your emotional health in check before you start the journey into getting into your physical health because we're going to start talking about the barriers to getting healthy. And a lot of it does start with your mind, your mentality. And if you don't have your mind right, it's going to be really difficult for you to make those changes in your ha- your healthy habits in order to get healthy. So we're going to get into all of that. Um, Isaiah, why don't you give us what your definition of what good health is? Um, good health in our generation is overall taking care of the body like you take care of your car like you value your material or your weave or the nails you know or the jordans <laughs> or the gucci bag you know we have to put that same energy into our health like we value material so for me with health i only live in this one temple so i have to respect this one temple right. and treat it accordingly instead of abusing ourselves now our generation have to learn how to love themselves. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So that's Self-love. We talk about that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to get into what are some the barriers to getting healthy? 
because a lot of times everyone says they want to be healthy or they need to get healthy or they need to start doing better, but there's something that's a blockage that keeps us from actually doing the work that we need to do to get there. So some of the barriers that I see is, is really just a lack of knowledge, not knowing what to do. So if you don't know where to start, it's difficult to get started. And so without going out there and getting the information and the knowledge to be able to put the actions in place, that keeps you from getting to your goal of whatever that may be, whether it's to lose weight or it's just to eat better, um, or if it is to go to therapy and, and get your mind right and get your, your mental health um, better, you have uh, no idea on how to start. So basically getting that information and the knowledge is key. So that's one barrier. Um, one that uh, I've done some research on, especially in Escambia County, is uh, poverty. And so looking at the mental health uh, side of it all, there's a lot of people that just don't have the money. And especially with where things are going now, most mental health, mental health therapists aren't always taking insurance. Mm -hmm. So it's cash pay also. Yeah. So um, if you don't have, if you're in a situation where number one, you don't have a vehicle. Mm -hmm. So I also work at the Gulf Coast Kids House and a lot of families that we help are below poverty, po the poverty line. And so they can't, they don't always have a vehicle to have access to come to therapy to get their needs met. So that's a, I mean, we, what we try to do there is we try to give them um, pay for taxis and stuff like that, but you don't get that everywhere. That's and true. that's a very specific uh, therapeutic uh, standpoint. We do physical and sexual abuse only there. Mm -hmm. So uh, for all the other people that are struggling with anxiety and depression and all and marital issues, and you know, these are things that are affecting our, our culture. Right. But they can't get the same access to the, to the health care, mental health care or physical health care that they need. Yeah, definitely. The economy um, is a big, big barrier to gaining access to health care, good health care. Um, and <laughs> that's the big, <laughs> big key word is yeah. good health care. So poverty, um, lack of knowledge. Um, I, I think also a lack of motivation. A lot of the times it's really hard to stay motivated when the culture really isn't set up for you to be healthy. The culture is really designed in a way to make it easier for you to be sick than to be healthy. And so whether it's just the type of food that's available to you, um, the advertisement of different things that really aren't good for you, and not just nutrition, nutritionally, but just in general, you're, it's just targeted towards keeping you sick. And, it, and I was just talking to somebody about this, how when, you, when you're seeing commercials, oftentimes, all you really see now are advertisements for um, pharmaceutical companies. I mean, majority advertisement is going to be pharmaceutical companies, food or drink, uh, lawsuits for health issues. <laughs> like, you know, have you been affected by this drug? <laughs> right. So, um, and insurance companies, insurance companies, they have taken over the ad space. I mean, whether it's auto insurance or whatever, there's big business and you not being healthy, personal injury attorneys. I mean, like every other commercial. So it's just really set up. Um, society is set up to really keep you sick and not really provide you with the motivation to get healthy because you just are just entrained to seek after this, this illness. <laughs> so there's a lack of like preventative information right and, and it's yourself. not promoted it's not really cool to be healthy it's mm -hmm. not really um the end thing to do now there is some trends as far as like i see more like veganism and like people really going plant-based like that's a big thing now you know even burger king's got in on it and you know a couple fast food restaurants beyond are getting in on it food. right the beyond beef but even that i'm not sure how healthy it is you could probably tell us more about that yeah. for sure um but it's just really culturally it's not set up for us to have access to this information it's not made popular like you said especially with our generation yeah because of the fact that america was never designed on us to be great or healthy mm -hmm. america yeah was designed to be on a westernized aspect. So we follow the European diet. Right. We take European pharmaceuticals. We go to the doctor. Most likely he's Caucasian and we believe it. So there's never been a time where we had our own food because when they took us from Africa, they didn't bring our food with us. So what we did was start following, you know, Hispanics. We, pop, we follow 
Italians, we eat everything. And then you ask a black person, what is our food? We don't know. Like soul we, food. We think it's chitlins. <laughs> we think it's bacon, eggs, you know, pig. Green. We, we have greens. been designed to eat on a scavenger level. Mm -hmm. And then we wonder why disease is so high mm -hmm. or diabetes or high blood pressure. You're drinking soda every day. You're going to get diabetes from it or leukemia or some form of illness. You eat in fast food every day. Our society, our generation, we it's just go, go, go. We think about instant gratification on everything. Yep. We want everything fast. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Mm -hmm. If this food is under a heat lamp, before you, by the time you go to this window and 30 seconds later, it's, it's ready for you. How healthy is that for you? What, where's the logic in that? And then, you know, we've been programmed because it's generational. So our great grandparents gave it to our grandparents. Our grandparents gave it to our mom. Then who gave it to us? So they didn't know better. You know, we had a black president and I commend him and his wife, Michelle Obama and Barack, because if it wasn't for Michelle Obama, you wouldn't see GMO labels in a grocery store. Those juices now wouldn't say high fructose corn syrup or, or, no soy or this and that before she was president people was just dying our relatives just dying and we like well damn how he died right. <laughs> then you look at the autopsy report he had this this and this and he was like well he looked healthy yeah. like you guys was just saying yeah. you know it's on the outer appearance they could look healthy but your insides is sick mm -hmm. we got to do better that's why it's important to drink water it's important to eat fruits and then people say why well, eat food every day Eating an orange and eating an apple, that's not fruit. You're not going to be healthy like that. You got to go. No, well, we're going to get deep into this. Yeah. We're going to get more into what we actually should do because, like you said, we may think we're eating healthy. We may yeah, think we all that the labels apples. say, you know, this is healthy and we believe it because we're not really what you said one major thing you said is we want instant gratification and one of the things that our culture really promotes now is the four things of uh more fast easy and fun that's it. so that's what we chase more of everything what's fast what's easy and what's fun right. and so when you're talking about wanting to even do healthy we want to do healthy in a fast and easy way so that's we right. want convenience so we're going to look at this label says organic or this label says uh low sugar or this label says right. um not gmo so we automatically assume it's healthy and we don't do any research because we're like hey this is this is making it easier for me to eat healthy right. or um this packaged food is already prepared for me so i might as well get that instead of going home to actually cook it for myself because right. number one i don't have time or I think I don't, <laughs> right. because I want something quick. Right. And so when we start getting to the, the portion of the show where we talk about what are some practical ways to get better, I really want you to break that down for us. Like, how can we actually practically look at getting the information that we need and also what should we be eating? What should we be doing beyond our diet to get healthy? Because it's really important for our community, our culture, um, to have this information. And we definitely want to be able to bring it to you. So. He said another thing and it slipped my mind that I wanted to touch on, but it's going to come back to me uh, later on. So any other barriers that you can think of before we jump into the, into the actual practical ways? What are some things that you see? What are some excuses maybe that you hear from people um, when they say they can't? <laughs> can't get well, it's too people? hard. You know, it's too expensive. So that goes into the economics. Yeah, that goes into the economics. The hard goes into what? It's um, just too much work. It's too much. <laughs> oh, then then the favorite one I always hear. I can't give up me. We gonna die. Oh. What? You're <laughs> not a, so for one, you're not a lion. <laughs> okay. Two, you're not a bear. Mm -hmm. And you don't live in the jungle. So you're not gonna die from eating a carcass one day. Mm -hmm. right. But then I tell people all the time, you know, when you eat beef, you don't know when they killed that cow. And you don't know when that slaughterhouse. Right. slaughtered it and when it went to that store and then you don't know how many times they slapped the label on it took it off and slapped another label and then sent it to your community Ooh, don't see that. because it wasn't <laughs> no, selling in this community and okay. that's what they do oh, like man. if you shop at a grocery store say you shop in i live in la so say you shop in beverly hills at a rouse 
that Rouse may have that beef and chicken there for about two weeks. If it's not selling, hey, how are you guys doing in this grocery store? You guys need meat? Sure. Well, this meat about to expire in a week anyway. Let's repackage it and send it to the lower class community. Oh, wow. And who's the consumer? You are. So that beef and that pork. We think we got a deal. Think you think you're right. getting a deal and <laughs> you're killing yourself. A oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. And I, this is what I remember. You said it's generational. Yeah. And we talked about that on other episodes about generational curses. Right Facts. and pattern and Facts. family behavior, Good. and that's and that's a really big thing. Like you it's said, major. you know to eat what your parents fed you. Your parents know to feed you what their parents fed them. Right, and and typically your palate is really set a lot through your childhood experiences. Facts. Like I find myself eating the same meals that I ate when I was a kid because I'm used to them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, I know this is what I like because I liked it then. So right. I like it now and I'm going to continue to do it now. I'm going to go buy the same food, the same brands that I recognize. Right. And I'm going to buy them and I'm going to feed them to my kids. Right. And then when they grow up, they're going to probably do Jesus. the same thing. Yeah. And so it's like breaking those generational patterns is difficult to do, but it's necessary. And that even, we talk about this so much with our mental health, like breaking those generational patterns that you see behaviorally before you can actually get beyond the behavior and get to the emotional side of things. You right. have to be able to do that. You have so, to. That's a really good point that you made with, the, you know, the grandparents are feeding you what their parents fed them, and right. it just continues on. So A lot of people don't realize, but you're changing your, your, it, your it's in your DNA. So, like, when people... Um, we talk about emotional eaters and stuff like that. And you, so you know what you should eat, but you crave the other things. And mm-hmm. so <clears throat> a lot of people say, I don't know why I just can't do it. Mm-hmm. But a lot of it is, it really is a, it is a mind thing. Also, your brain is sending signals and your, you know, things have been wired that way from generations. Well, you, have, and one aspect you absolutely correct, because see what happens is that when your mind is acidic, how can you produce alkaline thoughts? So when you eat it on an acidic level, you're not using your full capacity of your brain anyway. I like that. Because of the fact that everything you consume in is fogging your brain. Mm-hmm. It's not giving you your mental clarity that you need. So when people say, well, I just can't do it, it's because of a reaction, like you said, right. in the body right. from the foods. It destroys our biological makeup all the time. Mm. So when you say you eat a burger, all of a sudden you get tired and sleepy, right? Mm-hmm. You ready to sit down? Oh, I got the itis. Mm-hmm. But if you eat a you eat a salad, you ain't talking about no itis, right? Right. You still be hungry. You still hungry though. <laughs> 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 but why you can't eat another salad? Why though? you can't eat another salad? Right. Right. Or right. why you can't make a salad to where it's filling for you? Right. That, that's to where you mind. fool. We don't think about that. Yeah. And most people say, well, eating healthy is expensive. Mm-hmm. A salad in a store is only $5. You spend more on fast food in two days than what right. you're going to buy eating healthy mm-hmm. in a week's time. Yeah. And I want, we're going to talk about how you can give us some little tips and tricks that people can use to begin to eat healthy even yes. when they're on a budget. For because sure. people, like you said, may already They'll stop themselves before they get started because they'll assume right. it's too expensive That's because right. I hear it. You hear it from other people and then you start to believe it right. because I've heard it so many times. Even the message that they're putting out culturally is it's so expensive. Why right. is organic so much more than just the regular? And it really it is more expensive, but there are other things that you can eat that aren't as expensive that you don't know right. is affordable because you've just been taught it's more expensive to eat healthy. Fine. And then slowly but surely, if you notice, the unhealthy stuff has been creeping up in price over the years called inflation, where it's become more expensive Fine. to eat out yeah. and eat out at a fast food restaurant. I mean, it's ridiculous. And yeah. so that's that's turning a lot of people away from fast food, but they're not turning to the alternative, which is healthy food. They're just finding some other way to eat unhealthy 
outside of eating fast food. Fact, <laughs> fact. I know because I'm guilty of it too. <laughs> so I'm not even going to act like I got it all together, but I'm going to be trying. The whole thing about this is we're trying to get better, trying including to get better. all of us. So we want to get the information not only, not only for ourselves, but for our audience so we can share that so everybody can work on getting just a little bit better at getting healthy. So let's get into some ways to do that. Let's let's we're gonna kind of let you take the run at this, starting with and, let, and we're looking for just like maybe four four goals for people to start with. Four things that they can do to start getting better at healthy, okay. healthy eating and nutrition. So four however goals. you want, however you want to break it down. Okay, where should they start? Let's start with the where the should beginning. they start? First okay. thing you should do. Now to everybody's listening. Um, first we should start with, you know, water, the basics. Okay. People, you know, how it's so many misconceptions on water that it's ridiculous. It's like, this water's bad, this water bad. Well, I want to drink this alkaline water, this, this, and this. All you need is spring water. If you're not going through stage four radiation treatment or chemo, you don't need alkaline water. All you need is spring water because that alkaline water can be very harmful and detrimental. Mm. The best spring water for you you guys here in Florida, you guys have it. Uh, Zephyr Hills? Uh, any spring water here is good. Oh, okay. Not, Zephyr Hills is spring water. Yeah, that's water. good. Okay. Yeah, spring water. If it's spring water, it's the best water for you. Um, right now, doing this corona, you know, virus stuff, it has our country in a panic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I tell people every day, if you're eating right, you don't have to panic about a coronavirus because with a strong immune system, you're going to fight off anything. Mm -hmm. See, the less beef you eat, the less pork you eat, the less eggs you consume, the less coffee you consume, the less sugar you consume, the healthier you are anyway. Because like I tell my clients, most people drink soda. The average American drinks soda. Everybody drinks soda. You're going to drink some form of soda. But what they didn't tell us when we was kids. See, we thought Mountain Dew was the only thing bad when we was growing up. No, <laughs> all soda is bad because of the acid and what it does to our biological makeup and our melanin. Mm -hmm. It destroys the lining of our colon. It could give us diabetes. It give our kids leukemia, give them diabetes traits. It's no good. Mm -hmm. um, those, those are the things you want to stay away from. <laughs> now the things you want to add, the water is good. Now, people say, what salad should I eat? Spring mix salad. If you can have a salad twice a week, then you're doing your body some good. You know, the average person don't eat a salad once a month, twice <laughs> a year, damn near. Like, how when the last time you had a salad? See what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I see? I had one last week, though. See? A week think, ago. Yeah. And then, when the last time you had some fruit? I have some fruit every day. What, I have a banana See? Day. What else? Watermelon, what grapes. You had? I See? have great grapes. Okay, you have some Peaches. grapes. Yeah. Now I'm gonna say this: Did your grapes have seeds? Nah. See, it's 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 no nutritional value in the GMO grape. You getting you eating grapes, <laughs> but if it's not putting the proper nutritional value, then you just eating just to be eating. That's a waste. Wow. So so what? Wasting fruit? money. So what type of fruit should we be eating? So we know the type of water is spring water. Spring water. Now the fruits. Right now, it's still considered wintertime. It's not spring yet. Spring is here, but right. it's not here yet. Tell the sun now, tell this humidity is not. The <laughs> <laughs> tell the Florida humidity is not. It's winter because um, it's tripping. <laughs> right now, to keep your immune system strong, to fight off any viruses, any illnesses, to keep your kids healthy, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, um. Spring mix salad, kale, cilantro, the things we don't eat. People tell me they eat fruit every day, and they, like you just said, grapes, <laughs> banana, <laughs> apple, and orange, all the things that don't have a seed. Did that watermelon have a seed? They have, they have seed but in watermelon. No, 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 no. Did your watermelon have a seed? <laughs> I didn't have any watermelon. I said I had grapes. <laughs> it came in the public thing. Oh, no, that one don't. The public's one don't. But it's so sweet. When See? It, no. If it. <laughs> Okay. Everything so it needs to be seeded. I mean, it needs listen, to be seeded. Yeah, we don't spend fruit. the money. I'd rather spend the money on the right things. Like, yeah. But you know, all the things you just named is really not expensive. It's not. Like blueberries are not expensive. Strawberries are now, not expensive. Especially blackberries, in Florida, you can get Okay, now around. here, no, in LA, they kind of expensive. Why? Because 
people don't consume it. So if it's not being consumed, if you're not buying them blueberries like you buy Doritos chips, then they're not going to bring Cheetos, hot man. Cheetos hot and all Cheetos that stuff. They're not going to bring the price value down. Okay. But when we start consuming it, then they'll lower prices oh. on berries, but they're not going to lower the price on the berries man. because of the fact that it produces too much antioxidants. If I eat blueberries, it's going to enhance my skin. If I eat blueberries, it's going to build my immune system. So why would they want to help us be great? Right. What? That's a word. What? Tell me what <laughs> about the sea, sea moss. Now, sea moss. Shout out to everybody who listens to take sea moss. Sea moss provides you with 92 of 102 minerals. So with that, that's going to put the A complex, the B complex, mm -hmm. the zinc, the calcium, and rich the blood. Tone the body naturally. If somebody had asthma, arthritis, or diabetes, it's going to get rid of it. You have diabetes, um, it's going to balance your sugar level. But only if you're getting sea moss from myself, Sabi's daughters, you're getting the official stuff. Now, it's a lot of people, Amazon, yeah, selling it. <laughs> right. So like, that's not the that's I wouldn't not the trust deal. it. Okay. If Amazon ain't going to the ocean of Rutan and getting sea moss. So it's okay. like, where are they getting it from? Okay. It's so many you know, how can I use this? So many different people, just charlatans out here, like don't really appreciate what my grandfather had to offer to us, to mm -hmm. where I studied under Dr. Sabi, while I studied under him too. And that's not how this works. Like we spent many a days like in the kitchen, reading books in different places. Mm -hmm. So this healing and this journey is very serious to me and my family. Mm -hmm. and. Shout out to Left Eye for being one of the advocates for CMOS. Like, she was the first person in hip hop or ever to put CMOS on the map. And so, when she came aboard and took CMOS, it was her transformation was incredible. She fasted for 40 days, wow. 40 nights on just CMOS, fruit, and salad. Mm -hmm. Talk about discipline and willpower. Yeah, yeah. And she had mental clarity yeah, yeah. from it. And like you said, you said something that really sparked me. You said, with this journey, it starts with your mental. Mm -hmm. You got to be mentally sane for this. Mm -hmm. Like, it starts with faith mm -hmm. and willpower. Yeah. Period. You, you, on any illness, I can't say I cured anybody from just, just oh, closing my eyes. No, that, that, I'll tell everybody, if you have herpes to HIV or diabetes or whatever you have, if you don't believe that these herbs are going to heal you, and if you don't change your diet and believe that the herbs are healing the nation, right. then my work here is in vain. In vain. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So it starts with faith, okay. and you have to have your mind together. Yeah. And the way you can get your mind together is what? Therapy. Yes, we always have to plug it in. Greenhouse therapy? <laughs> yeah, greenhouse counseling. Um, yeah, so it starts with the mind, and, and, it, and it doesn't happen overnight. So, uh, of course, we don't want anybody to really um, defeat yourself before you get started by saying, well, you make it sound so easy. I just have to change my mind. You can't just change your mind in a day, but you can make a decision in a day Facts. to do the work. And you can make a decision in an instant to go get the help that you need Facts. mentally. And then you prepare yourself to do the behavioral stuff, the going to the store to buy the blueberries, to buy, buy the strawberries, right. to, to not buy the thing that you know is not good for you. Right. in the store and so for you to do that you can always reach out to us if you don't live in our area we can always try to put you put you in touch with somebody in your area um who can help you get started on that track but this has been really good yeah. i know we're gonna have to probably do a part two because this is just like a little small intro into how to get better at getting healthy but we wanted to get this topic raised and aware bring the awareness to you on why it's important for your community why it's important for our health why is it important for us to keep this body our temple like you said in the best shape that we can because we got a lot of work to do and we can't do the work, work we need to, to do, do if our physical body isn't isn't here and if it isn't right. Um, in the right state to be able to do all the work that we have to do so i know after this is over i'm going to get directly from the source a yeah. plan <laughs> <laughs> and, and let, let them know where they can find you let them know um, you know how to how you to can connect. you can find me at dietary resolutions you can go to dietaryresolutions.com 
Shout out to Greenhouse. Greenhouse Counseling. Counseling. Hey. Um, I get better podcast. You know you where you can find us. We're 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 everywhere, right? We're on iTunes, we're on Spotify, iHeartRadio. You can go to our website, Greenhouse Counseling FL for Florida.com. You can reach out to us on Instagram, Facebook. You know, we're here. We're going to keep being here. We're going to keep bringing you content like this. Um, we're going to try to keep bringing you more video. I know we mostly have audio, but this was a special occasion. We're yeah. in the same place. I know. We never are. Uh, we're barely out, in the same place. Shout out to my cousin for just What's doing up, great cousin? stuff. You it's know, cousin, thank you for y'all. blessing us. Yeah. It's my family. It's, family. it's our blood, it's right, blood here, right here. You know? It's, it's family um, right here. Family and, 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 you know, the reason we were able to come together today wasn't so much for a, a positive occasion you know we had to celebrate the life of one yes, of our family members one our, um one of our loved ones so yes. that's how we ended up together at this yes. place in time but um it's this perfect opportunity for always. us to get together because it's we want to make sure that we are all able to live as long of a life as we're able Fact. to live we gotta and the healthy. only way to do that is the what uh, get healthy get healthy get better yeah Fact. every day I got to meet a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so not a celebrity right. says so, lies. Yeah. It's so we gotta we gotta game. we gotta wrap it up for today. But you know, as always, Pedro, you know, we gotta close it out how we close it out, right? Yeah, we gotta we gotta keep keep what, what was it? I don't know. Oh, I love she. We don't lie. <laughs> she, uh, her her mental state is cloudy because I mean, she, she haven't been eating her best. Hey, we gonna get her some sea moss. She ain't been eating you know, her sea moss, none of that. So we get her she right. got her I lines. Ain't had a salad in a long time. She ain't had her salad, none of that. Okay, well, of course, we want you to like, share, comment, subscribe that. to the I Get Better podcast. Everybody we, go yeah. subscribe right Come now. Come on, to the like, I get better share, podcast. and it's I Get Better all one word. I yeah. get better. So don't put any spaces See in there. Then. So anyway, until next time, keep rocking with us. Stay tuned. If you have any comments, any feedback, make sure you hit us up in our inbox so that we can respond and answer any questions you may have. So you got to keep getting better to do better in order to be better. All right? All right peace All right. and love. Bye.